yet again another episode of Nurburgring Nordschleife Hot Lap. Today guys we have the Mazda MX-5 Rad Bull, uh, which is Mad Mike's MX-5 and this thing is insane to say the least. It's got over 1000 brake horsepower from its rotary engine guys and I'm absolutely very very scared to try and lap the Nurburgring with this car because it, it is a drift spec car, it goes sideways and the Nurburgring is one of the most ferocious and dangerous tracks on the planet so getting this thing around the Nordschleife it's gonna be a, not an easy task so let's go back and have a quick look at the vehicle statistics so as you guys can see it is in a drift uh, spec category it has a six speed sequential gearbox it's powered by a rotary engine chucking out 1200 brake horsepower so this thing one of the most powerful cars in the game uh, not to six, uh, sorry, not to 100 in 3.9 seconds, and top speed 192 miles an hour. I don't think we're ever going to reach that speed, just because I think if we do go anywhere near that speed, the car will just literally throw itself sideways on a straight line. And this is just how insane the car is. So let, let's have a look, guys. If we can tame the beast around the Nurburgring Notch Life. Right then, so here we are, guys, ready to begin our hot lap with the Mazda MX-5 Rad Bull around the Nurburgring Notch Life. And we do have the stable racing setup equipped on this car with 10 litres of fuel, soft tyres and no assist apart from ABS which is set on the week which will still occasionally lock up the brakes so I'm not careful enough. And uh, yeah, before we begin guys, I'm absolutely ridiculously scared and luckily I wore two, pan uh, two uh, sets of underwear because I'll definitely need it as this car is going to be so ferocious on this track. So here we go guys, wishing me luck and hopefully we can get this car to the end of our lap so build up some revs and away we go and look at the flames already coming out from the bonnet there that's absolutely insane whoa as it come round to the start and finishing line engaging second gear already the car's getting really really sideways so as you go down to 10-1 breaking nice and early nice and easy on the power still keeping the second gear and up shifting to third there nice and easy on the power don't run overdo it you just saw how crazy the car gets when you just apply slight throttle on it, the, the back end just wants to step out constantly as we keep uh, keep it in third gear through the S bends here. Nice and easy, trying to avoid all the curves. The first flames just spitting out, coming out of the bonnet. This is such a radical car, it's unreal. Let's go around this final little bit here before the flyover straight. And there we go, unleashing the 1200 brake uh, horsepower rotary engine to do its thing and boy does it sound absolutely amazing as we break a little bit for the flyover get some air a little bit then didn't, didn't really get um, caught out or get our shape there as you go over the uh, right hard kink nice and easy and back on the power again god this thing is absolutely mentally quick and the screams of the engine as well is absolutely biblical as you downshift to fifth gear going over the left hand kink now the car got a little bit squirmy on the braking that's fine and again getting a little bit out of shape managed to counter steer that nice and gentle on the power down into the foxhole now not really pushing this car at the moment because I'm really really terrified with this thing definitely going up here there's gonna be one tricky corner to get right so we're gonna have to do it nice and early on the brakes as you guys can see otherwise if I've done it a little bit too late the weight shift will just absolutely obliterate me with the back end stepping out. This car is not supposed to be racing, it's supposed to be going sideways. As you go through the chicane, nice and easy through there. And back on the power for the two left hand bends here. Now shifting to third. Gonna have to play with the steering wheel as minimum as possible. Otherwise, a little sharp movement with the steering wheel will get, just get this thing to go sideways and it will, it will literally go sideways, guys. Right, this bit is going to be a little bit tricky now. Be very, very cautious around here. I'm not really feeling too comfortable with this car. It definitely does need a custom setup if you want to take it properly. We'll do a proper serious lap. As you can see, the back end just stepping there out. Definitely the setup is not built for racing. But we managed to get through that little chicane there. Nice and cleanly. See, brake now. 
We're going to keep it in third gear through here. We don't need high revs going up this bit because the wheel spin will be absolutely dramatic and it will just uh, literally send me off to the grass, I think. Oh, look at that flow. I absolutely love that flow. That's like literally the best fit of this car. It's just the exhaust bonnet. It's like every boy's dream. And the noise is so nostalgic as well. It's like the older uh, Mazda 787B. One of my favorite Group C's. As he go a little bit out of shape on the grass there. Uh, get a little bit of a timing validation by cutting the track a little bit, but that's fine. We'll still keep going. Couldn't have been avoided. And it's not like we've gained any seconds as well, so never mind about that. We'll just ignore that. Project Cars 2 is a little bit strict on the track limits as well, I have to say. On some tracks, here, we're just even going quite close to the line, you would get a track invalidation. So we we'll, we'll definitely ignore it as we come over to the uh, hairpin for the carousel now. Back end, almost stepping out there as we break into it. Controlling the drift slide with the power. I'm back on the power we're going now. I'm not sure how to take the carousel. This is going to be very, very challenging. We're going to have to take it nice and slow into second gear. Taking it nice and easy. Oh, the car's really fighting me back here. Ooh, that was a scary moment. <laughs> My butt cheeks were clenching. As we come up to the, my favourite part of the track now, let's see how well we can tackle this part of the track. It's very... Um, what I was going to say is very um, rewarding when you come around this part of the track and when you get every single corner done nicely and it just has that nice flow to it, but I don't think this car will have that feeling at all. So we're going to keep it in fourth gear. It's a fine third wheel chest uh, result in us constantly wheel spinning. This will give us a little bit more grip to go around these bends. You can just hear that blow of turbo there, whistle. Nice and easy on the power. Woo God, that sounds orgasmic. You can just see as, as soon as I apply the throttle, the back end is squirming a lot. It's got a little bit wide there, that's fine, we didn't really cut anything, we still had a few wheels, uh, two wheels on the side of the track. I probably lost a little bit of time, but that's fine. This definitely won't be a competitive lap time, but it's so fun and challenging to get this car across here. And guys, if you want to check, uh, try it out yourselves and see how well you do with a stable setup, or stable racing setup, or turn these of fuel, be sure to comment down your times and even post the video link down in the comment section below. God, this thing is absolutely insane. Alright, we've downshifted to third gear now for here. So we go around the mini carousel now. Still nice and easy on the power. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is just the end bit there on the brake, and I'm gonna have to break, start braking quite early in a straight line. Because there's a lot of few uh, like chicane bits, and I think the weight transfer breaking and going into those quite uh, quite fast will just literally uh, get me to lose control of the car. So I'm gonna have to brake quite early. As we're on the straight line now, let's see how fast we can reach. Can we reach 300 k's? Almost there. Almost at 300. 298 k's. 299. 300, there it is, 300 Ks. See, so left off a little bit for the right hand king, but we've got to start braking already now, nice and early on the brakes. And you can see what that meant as we overcorrected, <laughs> uh, tried to correct it there. We've managed to catch the slide. Whew, that was a scary moment. Let's go around the final bits here of the track. I'm back on the power. Let's see what time we get. Get a little bit sideways there. A 7 minute 20 seconds, 0. 0.560. <laughs> oh my god. This, <laughs> oh. this required a lot of concentration, guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by liking it. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And also, guys, if you want to check out the leaderboard rankings, check out the uh, link down in the description box for Google Docs uh, to see how well all of these cars stack up against each other. But thank you guys once again so much for watching, and peace out.